Hello and welcome to the end of the year athletic award ceremony. We of course would have loved to have had our traditional um, gathering and gotten to uh, deliver these uh, in person, uh, but we're going to make the best of it. So uh, without much further ado, I'd like to introduce our um, coaches to give out their end of the year awards. My first cross country award goes to Sol Tarango for most improved. If you look at Sol's times from last year and compare them to this year, Sol improved by over three minutes, which is a lot of time for only a two mile race. Um, her times got faster and faster as the season went on. Sol is going to be a senior this coming cross country season, and I'm really looking forward to the amazing things that Sol is going to accomplish in her season or her senior cross country season. Um, my second award goes to Jamie Torres. Jamie is getting the MVP award. Jamie was our lead runner all season long as a freshman. She stepped up and led our team with grace and humbly. Jamie is the type of leader that leads by example. She's always cheering her teammates on. This year, Jamie was our only girl to make it to state, and I know that she wanted nothing more than for her teammates to be right there by her side um, at the state meet. Jamie has told me multiple times that this next cross country season, she doesn't want to make it to state by herself. She wants her whole team um, right there next to her. And I know that Jamie is the type of leader that um, is going to help her teammates accomplish that goal. My first track award goes to Anna Gonzalez for Eagle Spirit. Um, Anna has a way of lifting the spirits of our whole team. She always has a positive attitude and she always makes us see the positive side of every meet, even if we didn't do as good as we wanted to or anything like that. She really makes people feel better about themselves as a team and she's really our leader in that way. Um, Anna is a senior, so we're really gonna miss her next year when she goes to college, but we hope that she does amazing things and we know that she's gonna do great in college. Um, my second award goes to Katie Pearson. Katie um, has been my manager for the past two years. Katie is getting the All-Star Manager Award. Katie has really been my right-hand woman the past two years, whether it be um, helping me time at practice or at meets or getting water bottles for the girls um, or anything little, just like holding their jackets while they're racing. Like Katie's just always on top of it and she always does it with a smile on her face and I'm really gonna miss her next year when she's off at college also. I'm Coach Driscoll and I coach cross country and track boys and uh, this year uh, I have two awards for uh, cross country. I always give an Eagle Spirit Award to someone who shows up all the time with a great attitude and encourages their teammates and uh, they never get down and they, they drive themselves all, all season long and uh, I believe this is two years in a row for the same guy, uh, Arturo Sanchez, who's a senior this year, will receive the Eagle Spirit Award. He did a fine job and uh, he pushed himself for uh, four straight years trying to make it to the state meet and uh, this year he uh, was able to uh, qualify as an individual. So uh, he did a fantastic job for us for four years and uh, proud to give him this, this award. Second award is the MVP award, and this goes to uh, the one who consistently was our top runner all season long, and he did indeed qualify as our top qualifier to the state meet and had the highest place finish, and that this is a junior, Noah Murray. For track, unfortunately, we all know the spring sports kind of got a halt put to them, and. Uh, but I wanted to give two, award, two senior awards, one to uh, Alejandro Ortega, he, he's a, a discus thrower, and the other one will go to uh, Arturo Sanchez, also a senior. Thank you. I 
I'm Coach Fuchsa with uh, baseball, and uh, I've just got the one award this year with our dirt bag award, which normally um, our boys usually vote on who would be that award recipient, but we're going to go ahead and give it to Gage Zelnicek, our only senior this year. Gage, being with us for the last two years, showed up and hadn't played a whole lot, but the kid, with what he had available, um, was able to um, get a lot better and was put, you know, working at being one of our first basemen towards the end there. And obviously we didn't have a season to see what he could have done um, this season, but really proud of his hard work with the last two years that we've had him. Um, but um, I just want to tell you guys, you know, even though we didn't get to play this year, hopefully we get some summer ball in here come June and you guys continue to work hard. I've been able to contact a lot of you and see what you guys have been doing over the last couple of weeks. Um, I know you guys have been working hard to stay in shape. And when we show up again, hopefully in June, um, we can pick up right where we left off because we only got four games in, but um, that last game we played, we got a lot of good momentum and it just kind of halted all together. So um, you guys continue to be the exception and not the norm. Um, keep being good gentlemen, working hard, and um, hopefully I'll see you guys all together um, here come in June. Thank you guys. Hey guys, this is Coach S. Uh, I am the head basketball, head girls basketball coach here at Hennessy. Um, this year, uh, our girls worked really hard. Uh, I think we accomplished a lot more than what um, some people thought. I've been extremely proud to be their coach, and uh, I, I look forward to the, the great things to come with Hennessy girls basketball. Uh, and I, I can't wait to watch. Um, I have three awards this year. Uh, my first award is the uh, Hennessy Lady Eagle Leadership Award. This goes to one young lady who uh, continually pushed uh, every single person in practice. Uh, she was a loud vocal leader, whether that be on the court, whether that be uh, on the bench, whether that be uh, in practice or in the locker room, and um, never afraid to speak up. She constantly put the team before herself and her own wants and her own, her own needs, and she uh, gave us all she had. And the Lady Eagle Leadership Award goes to Miss Macy Smith. Our second award is the uh, Lady Eagle Pride Award. This award goes to uh, the young lady who um, put in just the most hard work for her team. Uh, whether that be throughout the summer, you know, she really bought into, uh, you know, it's, it's what goes on in an empty gym by yourself. Putting work in is what really uh, comes to light in a big gym um, with a big crowd. Um, she worked really hard. She would stay after practice, uh, shoot on the shoot away. Um, very proud of her hard work. And the Lady Eagle Pride Award goes to uh, Miss Megan Tillman. Uh, the last award I have, this is the uh, Lady Eagle MVP Award. Um, simply, this person was the glue that held us together. I think she um, played the most minutes out of just about everybody on the team. You could hardly take her off the floor. She uh, was a vocal leader. She gave it all she had on both ends of the floor. She uh, did anything that she possibly could to help her team and to help us win. Um, she, uh, when she wasn't on the floor, or if for some reason that she wasn't playing, you, you noticed. She, she was missed, and uh, she will definitely be missed next year, and the Lady Eagle MVP award goes to Miss Sky Simonek. I'm Coach Page, uh, and I coach the boys' basketball team. Um, we had a good year this year. I was really excited uh, about how we did. We, a year before, we got a uh, state runner-up and lost quite a bit of our team. 
and uh, this year we were 20 and seven and made it back to the area tournament. And I thought the kids played really well and stepped up and filled those guys' shoes that graduated. Uh, had three seniors that I'd like to thank, Kenley Wyrick, Bryson Hunt, and Angel Rodriguez. Uh, Kenley's been with us for five years and we we're very f thankful for Kenley. Uh, the things he did, you can't replace. And he was awesome for five years and no problems, worked hard every day. And we're just very thankful for Kenley. Um, <clears throat> Bryson, is, uh, we gave out two awards. Bryson's getting an award and uh, it's Mr. Intangible. <clears throat> Bryson came to us this year and has never played high school basketball. So you, you wouldn't be able to see that by watching him play. He was awesome. Uh, I think Coach Hicks said it best when uh, the community and everybody's so teachers and everybody's just so thankful for Bryson being here and you, you can't even say the things he did for us. He was tough and brought us everything that our team needed and he was just awesome for us and Bryson was <clears throat> just great being here and playing for our team and without him I don't think we would have been where we were at. Uh, Angel Rodriguez is getting our best all-around award. Angel was awesome this year. He got multiple uh, awards, all conference, all area, all district. Uh, he's signing to play at NOC Enid uh, for next year, so we're proud of him for that. But the things Angel did for us were awesome. He had the ball in his hands all the time, and uh, he was kind of the leader of our team, and he grew from the last couple years more than anybody I've seen, and uh, both him and Bryson were two of the best players we've I've coached in nine years at Hennessy, and we're very thankful for Angel and the things he did for our uh, team this year. Uh, looking forward to next year. We've got a good young group back after losing those three seniors. Um, I really liked our junior group this year. They stepped up and played a lot of minutes for us. Uh, Christian Rodriguez was our lone sophomore that played. Uh, Caleb Hubbard was hurt most of the year, but Christian's going to be ready next year. And then our freshman group of five guys, uh, Leighton Choke, Colton Shaw, Seth Semenek, Hayden Ryle, and Sebastian Gonzalez. We're looking forward to the things they can do. And then our eighth grade group coming up is a really good group. So we're really excited for the future. Uh, thank you guys and hope to see you soon. I'm Beth Curran and I was in charge of high school cheer for this year. This was my first year coaching and the girls made it really easy on me. We had a great group of 16 cheerleaders at the beginning. We lost a few along the way with moving and um, injuries and things like that, but um, we had a really good season. Um, the awards that I wanted to um, give today are to the team leadership award. This was chosen by the uh, cheerleaders themselves for uh, the cheerleader that uh, was a leader and encouraged them along the way all year. And that award goes to Katie Pearson. The next award I wanted to give was to another senior. Um, she came in, she had never cheered before and started out very timid and um, unsure of herself. And by the end of the year, she was right in there with the best of them. Um, so I wanna give the most improved cheer award to Kaylee Schaefer. I wanted to give um, an award for each class because we have um, cheerleaders that sometimes uh, work really hard and get overlooked because they're um, underclassmen. So for the freshman award, I wanted to give it to Kayla Wyrick. She did a really awesome job communicating with me throughout the year. She was always there whenever we needed her for mini cheer camp, um, games, and she um, persevered through an injury. So I wanted to, I say thank you for that, Kayla. Um, the sophomore award goes to Madison Viverka. Madison uh, worked really hard all year. Um, her favorite thing to tell me was, I got you. So if I had a crazy idea, Madison was there. Um, the junior award goes to Vanessa Alaniz. She had a smile on her face every time and um, was always encouraging. So um, the junior award is for Vanessa Alaniz. Thank you. Softball this year, it was a uh, learning process with a new coach. 
We had a lot of uh, underclassmen. So uh, we were looking for someone to step up and be a leader. And our one softball award this year is the Lady Eagle Softball Leadership Award. And that goes to our senior, Sky Simonek. Sky was one that uh, in the beginning of the season had a little uh, injury bug, but uh, came on uh, strong. And she was one that you never had to ask her twice to do something. She was usually the first one out there to pick up equipment, uh, do whatever we asked. And it really um, played an influence on those uh, younger underclassmen. And we're looking forward to some of them stepping up uh, next year. We didn't have quite the season that we were hoping for. We were bit with the injury bug quite a bit. We had starters out uh, all the time. Uh, at one point during our season, uh, we had all three of our pitchers out. So again, we're hoping to come back strong this next uh, year and have a uh, great season. Uh, with slow pitch, we never really got uh, the season started. We were playing, we got two games in. Uh, we didn't have any seniors this year, so again, we're looking forward next year to getting back out on the field. Hopefully everyone's staying well, and we're looking forward to getting back out there as quick as we can. Thank you. Hi, I'm Coach Means. Uh, I'm here to talk about our volleyball season this past season. Um, it didn't go quite as we had planned, um, but we were definitely competitive. Uh, had a great group of seniors uh, that's going to be dearly missed. Um, and we, we were in most games, most, most matches, and we, we definitely could have amassed a few more wins than what we did. But nonetheless, we progressed every year, the last four years with these girls, and uh, this year was a special year. Uh, probably pretty fortunate that I get to do this via video as opposed to live because I probably wouldn't be able to make it through it um, talking about my seniors. So with that, I'm just going to dive into the um, awards and these are in no particular order. Um, our first one actually is our favorite one we like to give every year is the most improved award. Um, and this girl, it was very obvious that she worked all summer long on her own at getting better um, and that will go to Karen Williams. Uh, next awards, um, since we don't really have one true MVP with the group of seniors we had, uh, tried to come up with some awards for each one of them. Um, again, in no particular order. Uh, the first one is Miss Hustle, and that is Abigail Hobson. Uh, she gave, gives her all, all the time. Uh, unfortunately, she did not get to play this year uh, due to a knee injury, but she was there with us and she would have been diving on the floor uh, just like she always had. And so we appreciate her being there and helping us and uh, supporting us. Uh, the next one is Miss Versatile, and that goes to Caitlin Pearson. Uh, she played every position, almost every position this year. She has from her time, um, from being a freshman all the way through, has played every position at one point. So uh, she's Miss Versatile. Uh, the next one is Miss Consistent, and that goes to Stephanie Dominguez. Uh, she was, as our setter, she's basically our on the floor coach, uh, knowing where everybody needs to be, knowing what needs to happen and who needs to go here. Um, so she, she always served the ball consistently and she was just consistent. Even on days she didn't want to be there, she'd say, coach, I'm not feeling it, but she'd still show up, still do what she needed to do, so. All right, then the next one is Miss Clutch. And this is going to go to Miss Christina Ramirez. Uh, she, she stepped up big in a lot of big games uh, from our first match. Uh, one of our first matches at Yale, she stepped up and took over um, when Steph went down. Then she, all the way to helping us win our a set in our uh, regional uh, competition, she, she was the spark that kind of helped that set uh, win. So she's been our clutch performer. She came up big in big times. Uh, the next one is Miss Persistent, and that's going to go to Kaylee Schaefer. Uh, she always wanted to get it right and do it right and know exactly where she needed to be at all times and was very, very persistent on getting it right. Um, then our next one, Miss Athlete. Uh, this girl is, is really a freak of an athlete. Uh, she could stand and jump probably onto this podium. She just um, 
she's special. Uh, and that goes to Amber Lara. Uh, she unfortunately also didn't get to play um, much except for JV this year because of um, moving and eligibility issues there. But uh, again, she helped us. She basically coached that JV team and took it over. So uh, we appreciate her. Uh, the next one is Miss Fighter, and that goes to Jennifer Duran. Uh, she was our manager. She also moved back to her, for her senior year and joined us uh, to be a part of our crew. And uh, she always made sure the score was right, and she would fight for that point if somebody messed it up somewhere. So, uh, and she's just she's a she's a fighter. That's who she is. That's so that describes her. And then our last one is Miss About Time, and that goes to. Brianna Williams because I tried to get her to play for four years and she never would do it and this year she finally tried it out so it's about time. So that concludes our awards. I'm very proud of these girls and I'm very thankful for the time that I got to have with them. Thank you. All right, guys, um, got three awards for football. Just wanted to let you know that um, I love and appreciate all you guys. It wasn't the journey that we wanted, uh, but I think at the end of the day, um, we can appreciate the time that we had together. And um, I hope that you guys are doing well. Our first award is for most improved player. Um, it goes to a gentleman that really felt like he was out of position for most of the year, but by the end of the year, he embraced the role that we had for him, and I'm super proud to give the most improved player to Rob Mier. Second football award goes to Yosbeth Fierro. It's our Eagle football award. Um, Yosbeth demonstrated uh, tremendous leadership for us. He was kind of our emotional captain. Um, I think he showed us that uh, even in a leadership role, you can have a hiccup and, uh, and, and rebound from that. And I'm super proud that Yosbeth was able to kind of be there for us emotionally and be a tremendous leader for us throughout the season. Our last award is the Eagle MVP, and it goes to Bryson Hunt. Uh, you guys know how much Bryson meant to the team, the players, the coaches, and our entire community. He was one of my most favorite players to coach of all time. He did everything for us, play quarterback, running back, receiver, uh, tight end, linebacker, secondary. Uh, he did a little bit of everything for us and truly uh, embodied what it means to be a most valuable player. Thank you. The final two awards that we have for you is the Eagle of the Year and the Lady Eagle of the Year um, presented from the Booster Club. The Eagle of the Year is Bryson Hunt, and the Lady Eagle of the Year is Sky Simonek. My name is Kelly Vincent. I am the current president for the Hennessy Booster Club. Um, we are proud to award eight outstanding senior student athletes with the Hennessy Booster Club Scholarship. The senior athletes receiving the award for 2020 are Stephanie Dominguez, Anna Gonzalez, Abigail Hobson, Angel Rodriguez, Kaylee Schaefer, Bryson Hunt, Sky Simonek, and Caitlin Pearson. Congratulations. <laughs>